my dear students and parents by god's grace my educational videos are available to 10th cbsc plus 1 cbsc plus 2 cbsc neat and iit students in youtube in the subjects maths physics chemistry zoology and botany in english language today we are going to verify whether a given relation is a function or not let us see the sum examine the following relation given below and state in each case giving reasons whether it is a function or not the relation is given as 2 comma 1 3 comma 1 4 comma 2 what is this 2 comma 1 3 comma 1 4 comma 2 they are the ordered pairs that is the relation r is given as in ordered pairs how many ordered pairs are there there are three ordered pairs in the first ordered pair the first element is 2 and the second element is 1 this first element represents the pre image the second element one represents the image similarly in the case of the second ordered pair 3 comma 1 the three represents the first element first element 3 represents the pre image and the second element 1 represents the image then coming to the third ordered pair that is 4 comma 2 in this ordered pair 4 comma 2 the first element 4 represents the pre image and the second element 2 represents the image of the ordered pair set of all first elements that is pre images of the ordered pair is called as domain and the set of all second elements that is images of the ordered pair is called codomain so we are writing all the first elements that is pre images in this ordered pair the first element that is pre image is 2 in this order pair the first element that is pre image is 3 in this ordered pair the first element that is pre image is 4 so we are writing all these pre images of the ordered pair so that we are getting the set to domain similarly if we write the second element that is image of the ordered pair we will get the codomain as we already told in the first ordered pair the second element is 1 that is image is 1 so it is written here in the second ordered pair the second element that is image is also 1 so we need not again written 1 it is enough to write one element only once then coming to the third ordered pair the second element that is the image of the ordered pair is 2 it is also written here so that we are getting a set codomain so in our hands there are two sets one set is domain another set is codomain the elements of the domain are called as pre images and the elements of the codomain are called as images then we are going 
to define function. Function is a special type of relation. Every pre-image must have an image. Every pre-image must have only one image. For understanding purposes, I am going to consider an imagination. It is only for the understanding purposes, not for the examination purposes. That is, pre-images of the set domain are imagined as children and the images of the set are imagined as fathers. So, from this, we mean that every child must have a father. Similarly, every pre-image must have an image. In this case, we are comparing the pre-image to the child and the image to the father. The next condition, the child must have only one father. Whether a child can have more than one father? No. If that be the case, it is not fair. It is also not acceptable. Similarly, every pre-image must have only one image. The child too has the father one. The child too has the father one. The child too has only one father. So the two conditions are satisfied. It means that the pre-image two has a image one and the pre-image two has only one image one. Then coming to the second element of the set to domain. The second element of the set to domain is three. So if we consider this second element three as child, the child three has the same father one and the child three has only one father one. It means that the pre-image three has same image one and the pre-image three has only one image one. Then coming to the third element that is four in the set to domain. If we consider the third element four as the child, the child has one father two. And the child four has only one father two. That is the pre-image four has the image two and the pre-image has only one image two. Then one question may arise to the students. Sir, you have told that Every child must have a father. That is the first condition to define the function. And every child must have only one father. It means that the child should not have more than one father. So this is the second condition. So what about the father? Whether the father must have a child? No, a father may or may not have the child. It means that the image may or may not have the pre-image. So in respect of that child, it must have a father. But in respect of the father, it is not the condition he should have 
a child. Then the second condition in respect of that child is he should have only one father. But in respect of the father, it is not the condition. The father must have only one child. Father may have two children or three children or four children. That is, they may have many children. So that is the difference between the child and the father. If every father is having only one child, that function is called as one to one function. One child to one father. That is, if every image is having only one pre image, it is one to one function. However, if the father has more than one child, that function is called as many to one function. It means that there are many children to one father. The one to one function is called injective. The many to function is called subjective. If the function is one to one and on to that function is called as bijective. We are going to discuss these type of functions in the next sum. So here the conditions of the functions are satisfied. Therefore the given relation R is a function. Students for understanding purposes the pre-images are considered as children and the images are considered as fathers. So you need not write the children and fathers concept in the test or examination. Moreover, we can also determine whether the given relation is a function or not in a simple way. Coming to the ordered pairs, we have already discussed the first element is the pre-image, the second element is the image in an ordered pair. You should carefully observe that whether the first element is repeated in the subsequent ordered pairs. In the case of the first ordered pair, the first element is 2. It is not repeated here and also here. Moreover, in the second ordered pair, the first element is 3, that is pre-image is 3. This 3 is also not repeated. In the case of the third ordered pair, the third first element, that is the third pre-image, 4 is also not repeated in other ordered pairs. If the first element of any ordered pair is not repeated in other ordered pairs, it is a function. Suppose if any one of the first element of any ordered pair is repeated in other ordered pairs, it is considered as it is not a function. It is the simple way of expressing whether the given relation is a function or not. My dear students, if this educational video is really beneficial to you, you can share with your friends and classmates and you can also subscribe my channel.